Finally tonight, it's been a banner week for American women on the soccer field and the International Science Showdown, proving, to paraphrase Annie Oakley, anything you can do, they can do better. Here's ABC Sharon Alfonsi. Just like that, the U.S. women's soccer team has turned goal power into serious girl power. Especially for those of us who grew up rocking their own shin guards. See that little boy? That's actually me. I had no problem blending in, but I was often the only girl on the field. Today, more than a million and a half girls play soccer. But in another field, women are still seriously outnumbered. Science. Only 12% of engineers today are female. Which makes what happened at the Google Science Fair this week so amazing. 7,000 entries from 91 countries. I'm Sean from Singapore. I'm Ash, Mississippi. I'm from South Africa. The winners, three American girls. When I go to school, I'm like an all-American teenager. Naomi Shaw, 16, discovered ways to improve indoor air quality for people with asthma. I also enjoy violin and piano. Lauren Hodge, 14, tested whether certain marinades on grilled chicken create harmful carcinogens. We are here to actually see the cattle drives. And 17-year-old Sheree Bowe's breakthrough? Identifying a protein that could counter the resistance some women have to chemotherapy. That perception that women can't compete in science has been ingrained in this field for so long. It just shows that our world is changing and women are stepping forward in science and I'm excited to be a small part of that. The future stars of another field, no shin guards required. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.